Let's look at the facts, shall we? The defendant has already admitted that he placed the gun in Andrew Sugden's car. Is that the act of a scared, vulnerable, misunderstood teenager? Or is it all part of a calculated plot to grab his inheritance while he can? A chance to take revenge on Andrew Sugden, the man who tore his family apart? The defendant claims he loves his grandfather. How can he when he lies to him about his true identity, when he openly belittles and criticizes him in front of his friends? There can be no doubt of his intentions that day. He set out to kill Lawrence White and frame Andrew Sugden for the attempted murder. Of that charge, there can be no doubt. He is guilty. Here we have a confused and vulnerable young man. But by his own admission, Lawrence White had been drinking heavily that day. All my client was trying to do was protect someone he loved from harm, not cause it. Now, what happened that day was nothing more than a terrible accident. Yes, my client made some poor errors of judgment. But did he shoot his grandfather in cold blood? A man he looked up to, loved like a father. No, he didn't. This court will now adjourn for the jury to retire to consider their verdict. All rise. I hope to God it's enough to have him acquitted. The sooner we get him out of prison, the better. Look at you. Sticking to your lies when you know the truth, and you still let your own flesh and blood take the blame. You disgust me. Come on down. They're not worth it. Yeah, Rob's right. We need to let the jury decide what happens next. Yes, and you know what? Andy will get the justice he deserves, and then you'll really know what it's like to be without someone you love. <laughs> <laughs>